Welcome to my survival series for No Man's Sky. In the last part, we did a couple of Atlas stations and also attacked some freighters to get the salvaged frigate modules here. And we've got four. And what I'd like to do in this part is get at least one more by attacking freighters because I really want to be able to put in this tech here. Uh, purchase upgrades, this tech here. Because I think if we can get this, this is going to really change the way we can interact with the freighter. At the same time, there has also been a mission come in. And there's a possibility we may actually get some salvage frigate data from the mission. But it's quite rare. So we'll just come in here and see what we got. Money, no asteroids, Corvax casings. That's about it. <laughs> Didn't get much for that one. But I don't think I've got that much in the way of... Uh, Freighter fuel, we got what's that? 400 tons, four, 500 tons. So we should be able to get another mission out. So let's just go and send our guys out on another mission. Of course, I've also bought a couple of frigates in the last part as well. So what we should be able to do now is have a bit more of a focus kind of mission run. And I think we got some industrial ships. Let me just see what we got in the way of industrial. Got one. I think we got combat, exploration, trade, combat, and support. A little bit of a hodgepodge, really, isn't it? Is there an exploration mission? A voyage of discovery. There's one there. There's a trade mission. I mean, we've got a couple of really short kind of voyages of discovery. So I suppose we better go on one of those. I suppose. So we're send these guys out and. And of course, this time we can, I think we'll send the, now, and of course what we've got now is all five frigates for once. We'll send those guys out on that. I mean, eventually we'll have enough frigates to do two missions at a time, but more importantly, what I need is to be able to gather the dihydrogen or buy the hyd um, hydrogen gel and collect the tritium so that we can start sending out more regular missions. And that's where the link to the freighter comes in. So we're just going to get out here. Another thing I also want to check out is not in there. It's down here. We've got this um, cart cartographic data. It says an ancient ruin site has been marked. And I think I'm not too sure where I've got that from, but we can want to use that one up as well. But we're just going to get out of here. Now there are some, or well, there were some freighters hanging around. There they are. They're all coming in. Looks like we've got hostiles coming in first. So we better deal with the hostiles. Don't want to fight two battles. All these frigates here. Uh, I don't think I really want to spend any more money on. Yes, thank you. Let's fire up the weapons. Photon cannon. Yeah. yeah. Where are you coming from, though? That's the question. We got someone coming from... Where are you? Yeah, bottom right. There he is. Let's get out. Got him. Got some chromatic metal. Whoops. I've just fired at the opposition by accident. They're probably a little bit unhappy with me, but we're going to make them unhappy anyway, so. Right, that should be it. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to... In come in. Hello, friend. Your fleet needs new friends. Our starship would be a joyful addition your fleet inspect the frigate okay let's see what you're offering 
B support specialist. Mm, I'm, don't. I mean, that's not bad, but he's got minus nine. I mean, that is not bad actually. Uh, with the if, if reduced fuel um, expedition fuel costs. Uh, to plus two exploration, minus nine. I think that's pretty good because add those two together and what, what we're talking, minus 24%. Yeah, I think we will buy that actually. So what we're going to do is just have a little bit of a hunt round here. See if we can find a module. I don't really want to hit a cargo pod unless I have to. And we should have some modules here. Another cargo pod there, cargo pod there. No, I don't want to get into a battle unless I've got a guaranteed uh, frigate module. Iron Lines Cobot, not interested in that. Couple up here, magnetized ferrites. Uh, what we got here? What have you got there? Chromatic metal. I'm a pirate. I mean, we could hit the cargo pods, but incoming message fleet frequency. No, sorry, I don't want to buy another frigate. Platinum cargo pod, magnetized ferrites, ionized cobalt. No. I mean, we'll, we'll have another quick kind of scam round, but I'm, I'm not seeing it for these ships. There's a couple more modules there. Cargo pod, uh, magnetized ferrite. I think we've already checked those. Let's just go over and f take a look at these. Okay, Paul. No. I think we've checked most of these, haven't we? Let's do these three. Platinum, that's ionized. Okay, time to go. I think we'll, we'll go to a new system and see if we can get a, a new set of freighters there. Interesting. Is it telling me that I've got another? Um, okay, we're there. You're telling me you found another Atlas station. Okay. We're off to another Atlas station then. I, I must admit, I wouldn't mind to get the Atlas path finished because it would just be one more job out of the way. Uh, we've got th planet, three planets, two moons, promising conflict level at war. Huh. That should be fun. Yeah, Atlas interface accepted. And in we go. This is the ball that turned, becomes spiky if you watch it long enough. You'll see it will suddenly throw out spikes. There it is, it's pulsing slightly. And again, we're just going to walk around and grab these. Just go this way around. Oops. One there. Got the Atlas word for close and for communion. And just grab these. Got the Atlas word for delay. We will delay anything that comes along. And we'll just do this. Atlas word for denied. We're actually getting quite a few Atlas words actually. We cut across here and we can pick up the ones on this side as well. Now, I don't know if they've increased the number of words that you can now find. One in here, grab you, at this word for existence.
grab you. I think we've just got a couple more on this side. And this word for fragments. Certainly getting quite a lot of words. We're in a Vakin system, so if I shoot up a freighter in this system, it's <laughs> we're going to da damage our reputation even more. And we're just going to come here and Nexus, whatever you are. Uh, expel all doubt, none return. Beyond the cascade of the rerun, there is only clarity. The act of discovery for discovery's sake now seems like a foolish conceit. I have rejected the path of the itinerant. I have rejected the call of the stars. Only the Atlas matters now. With each encounter, I feel as if I understand a little bit more. All of us are what we are. Evil arrives in the, in the individual. The goodness is not enough. The greatness lies in sorrow, in the embrace that we must become. So we will now take the Dawn Milestone. There, never, there has never been another choice than this one. I go on. We go on. Eternal forever searching. So we've now got the formula for the um, Photic Jade. The health, health at maximum. And it's actually healed me as well. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Um, I just jump into the ship again. And then we go looking for some freighters. Because we've got the uh, space station over there. Let's try to scan at the planet there. Got a rainy planet. Well, that could be a good option to try out that module that we need a uh, scanner from. But first, we'll go in the space station and get the upgrade. Might as well get that while we're here. So we're just going to land in here. Let's just go over here and see what we can find. Well, we know what we're going to find. We're going to find the suit upgrade. Uh, take this. It's going to, it's going to cost me one million. Got the money for it. And of course, I can always go across to the anomaly and get the other one, but I'm kind of reluctant to do that, actually. Of course, because this is a Vakin system, we can... I don't think I've got anything I can sell off. No, we, I think I sold off most of the stuff in the... I'm not sure where the microprocessor came from, but I can go in there. The repair kits and got a drop pod coordinate. Oops. So we'll just fly across to the other side. And we'll just check on the missions. I mean, I could talk to these guys to learn some more of the Keen language, but uh, maybe on the way out. Uh, take a photo of a radioactive world. We'll take that. Uh, ancient ruin. We're looking for an ancient ruin, so we might as well take that. And that's about it. Hunt low-level pirates. Well, yeah, hello, hello, handsome. Let's talk to a few of these. Request dialect help. Raffle symbol. And the Vakim word for question. And we'll just keep going into here. Request dialect help. And we'll go for a technology symbol. Got the Vakim word for blueprints. And we'll do one more. I don't want to spend the whole video just doing this. And we got here. We'll do another technology symbol. And we've got the key word for knowledge. But the language is gone. I want to check something. Milestones. Because we keep doing Atlas Pass. But eventually we've got to complete these three milestones here. Because eventually what will happen is that I'll get to an Atlas station and I won't be able to complete the whole path. Because to complete the whole path, you've got to do all ten levels of these. Uh, we certainly need to work on the extreme 
and warp 40 times so we, I need to do a bit more warping I think just to get this finished and and kill a few more sentinels as well <laughs> that's always fun we'll go down on this planet and put down and we'll, we'll kick off that scan to see if we can get that ancient ruin and see what we can get from that nice kind of blue green planet surface tufts of grass that will just drop down when I, I need more salvage tech as well and we got of course we got the ubiquitous birds uh, I didn't see what the oh, we got that message now whoops and we're certainly going to scan the birds. Um, oh, we've got some more up there. Have we? Yes, we have. We've got two sets of birds. Wait. Take a photo of an ancient rune, yes. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to plot a route. See where it takes us. Yeah, rainbow. Uh, ancient rune site. Ruined site detected. How far away is it? 18 hours. <laughs> uh, wow. This is obviously a, a planet of birds. Any more? No? Yeah, we've got a buried technology module 124 units away. Certainly want to get that flying across the top thought it was one of those worms coming in at first get the drain manipulator and just snake that and any more around here a quick win another one 217 in that direction we'll go that direction and what on earth is that? Like, a, like the top of a tree that's in the ground. <laughs> and a, damaged uh, module, technology module there. It was, below the surface life support 50% also we we'll pick up the slime we've got six salvage data now and anything else around here that's worth picking up it says there's a very module there as well well we'll take it Got two more. A knowledge stone 368. I'm probably not that inclined to walk that way. There's a knowledge stone in that direction. It's in the right direction, so we should be able to possibly pick that up. And that's past my ship. So. Right, what we're going to do is go to the ancient ruin. Let me just see. Let me just. Actually, we're just going to let it run down so we can use that life support module. And start using those up. And just jump into the ship. Of course, it's 18 hours away, so we're going to go up into space and drop it off there. A little bit of a pause there. Well, they had a little bit of a pause as we broke through into outer space. I've noticed that there have been increasing numbers of pauses now like when you jump out of the ship when you transition to space also when you um, warp to another system I've noticed that there's you can there is a noticeable pause now after you select the planet and before you actually start the warp process I mean I don't know if it's my machine or whether it's just something that's creeping into the game we're just gonna Head for the ancient ruin. 
So here's the ancient ruin. We'll just kind of slide down in here. Probably land about here. Um, drop. And I suppose what first things first is just get the picture done. Built up. Back. Should be it. Kind of get that there. I know it's not much of a... Again, there was that pause when you take the picture. Okay, let's take another one then. Maybe I need to be in a little bit closer. To see if we can take another one. I mean, this is an ancient ruin, as far as I know. Yep. Okay. Obviously, this isn't the right ancient ruin. Right, let's find. Uh, let's go looking for the fragments. The ancient fragment there. I must admit, some of the photo missions now seem to be a lot more temperamental than they used to be. Uh, I don't know if that's intentional or whether it's just the way things are now. Um, Oops, uh, okay. Get out of here and find one ancient key. And uh, look around for uh, another. There's always one in the base of here. Find the door and just blast the way in. There it is. That's two. Here's another ancient fragment there. Three. But yeah, I know it says you say take a photo of an ancient ruin, but I did that and you're telling me that it's not. Here's another one over here. What's my mission is reporting Potential activity is interesting. I think that's enough, isn't it? Let me just see. Got four keys. In fact, let's see if we can get all of them. I don't normally do this, but what have you got here? Copper deposit. I think we've got enough, actually. Let me just. We can find the large crate. Large artifact crate. There we are. There we are. We only need three, actually. We found a, a rare item found. A well-observed formula. A historical document. The original text of this document has been greatly altered. Entries have been crossed through, written over, and even torn out. Apparently some several different writers. Whoever was written is hotly contested. Well-observed formulas. So what's that worth? Not bad, 648,000. I mean, ancient ruins are a, a good way to make money. You can see we've got one key now. Extra key. Ah, 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 I'm just falling down the hole. Okay. Ah. I'm going to have one more go. At see if I can take the picture of this uh, ancient ruin. I was wondering whether this one's a, a different kind of ancient ruin. Maybe if we no. right, let's have a look round. Any buried technology close by? Look at that, fifty-four units away. We certainly want you. Um. hazardous plant there buried in the grass we can go and scan him I can find him in the grass where are you where are you 
Yeah, you're the hazardous plant. You're just lying doggo in the in the grass, aren't you? Well, there we are. See, I stood here. As soon as I get my weapon out, he starts attacking me. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> right, we've got another technology module up here. So we'll just go and get him. I thought I'd already dug into that one. That's strange. What we got here? Paraffinium. Do I have a pressing need for paraffinium? Oh, I think we'll just pick a little bit of it up. And there's only a little bit of a surface deposit, so... And I need a bit of, um, what we call it, silica, anyway. And we must have charged that while we're at it. I've got quite a lot of carbon. Actually... What if I let me just have a quick look at uh, excess suits? Okay. Well, we've got plenty of cobalt. In fact, I've got more more than enough cobalt. I really need to free up that space. Anything else around here that's two hundred eighty-six? An ancient fragment there. Copper deposit five hundred and eighty. Nope. I don't think there's anything else here of. In fact, I think what we're going to do is, then you're not playing ball, we're going to come in here, portable tech, I think we'll go looking for another drop pod, signal booster, okay. Cypher, drop pod, searching for transmission signals. And there we are. Drop pod detected. How far away are you? That's actually not bad, actually. That's only 758 meters away that direction. So fine. I think that's good enough for a short stroll on a planet like this. And of course, this is where it suddenly comes in with a superheated storm or something like that. Ah. So we'll just go looking and see what's around. Right, let's scan. Of course, this provides an opportunity to look for more buried tech. I mean, just wandering across the planet's surface is, is you know, I mean, it's fun. There we are. See, we got over there it's kind of in the general direction of where we want to go so we'll just get out here well this is part of the essence of no man's sky is just exploring the planets at random and seeing what you go on and i know some players and especially some youtubers they get very fixated on the late last update you know a bit like the the release of the companions update and they spend hours trying to get the min max out of that of that update and yeah and i know some of them do it just to kind of make the videos i mean it's not the way i like to play i mean i like to just go with the flow and learn the mechanics as i go along i mean i don't see my role as a youtuber to make um, min max videos because i'm not a min max player in any game it's, it's just to me being completely obsessed with getting the absolute total maximum amount of game and and if I'm looking for exploits it just spoils the game for me to be honest um, I, I, I say I'd just rather play the game and enjoy it um, sounds like I'm getting in a little bit of a um, philosophical mood at the moment oh, I'll just get rid of that kind of hazardous plant there. there's a, a little and I think another important element is playing the game the way you want to play it. I mean, I think some people players kind of trap themselves with the, this kind of impression that there's a right way to play a game. And there is no right way, really. I mean, yes, there's an optimised way and, and there's a kind of complete mess, unoptimised way, which is probably the way I play. But 
there is no right way. I mean, and I think that's important. And and sometimes it's, you know, I think some people are also obsessed that they've, they've got to do something perfectly and not die. But sometimes messing up is actually part of the fun of the game, actually. Well, that's the way I see it. <laughs> Go this way. We might as well grab the knowledge stones. Two knowledge stones together is quite useful. And of course, this is where I go and find that I don't, I've got some missing resource. So we'll just get into here and see what we need. Well, we got that. Um, wait. Now we've got antimatter. We're going to make some antimatter. Not exactly sure how I managed to get into the the upgrade. And we're just going to here, and we've got the upgrade to So We've now got another slot. Hello, Mr. Sentinel. Where's my ship? Um, um, the ship's right back over there, isn't it? There's an unidentified plant there. We'll just scan you. And you. Well, there's the mission done. Um... Any more buried tech round here? The quick wins. You're 376. You're 316 away. You're 249. You're 281. There's a just seen a red dot. There we are. Another creature there. And I think we'll just go in that direction for a little while. I think for the rest of this video, we're just going to explore this planet, grab some buried technology, and and, and maybe right at the end, we'll go up into space and see if we can find a, a freighter to attack, because it just doesn't look like there's been a freighter coming into this system. Anyway, we'll go and get some buried technology. And da -da -da -da. Um, just get here. Of course, what we're going to have to find is somewhere to get some more drop pod modules as well. Although I don't think how many more slots have I got to go? Let me see, cargo. Uh, three, six, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, we got a few more to go. Hundred and seventy-eight. Um, should be somebody a bit, quite a bit closer. Then again, maybe not. Okay, we're just going in that direction. There's something. Just there. What's that? It's copper. I don't really need copper. I've got more than enough copper for the moment. Quite interesting this is like below me so let's just go down and see what's below me okay ah. and I can't actually get to it it says destination reached but what I've actually done is come down into a cave that's a bit of a cheat game. There's like a hard floor here. Okay, we're in a cave. I better find the way out, I suppose. And it's quite deep. Okay. <laughs> when we can tunnel out, should be should it become necessary? But we'll we'll kind of have a look round first and see what we can find. Um, let's grab you. 
How far away are you? You're 267. Is there anything above me that's close by? 213. The buried mineral formation there. What is that? Can we get up to it? Okay, there's a superheated rainstorm coming in. So maybe being underground just for the moment is probably a, probably a pretty good idea. Um, okay. What is that there? Aha. Okay. Hello, guys. Aha. Gotta kill sentinels anyway, so. Happen there. There it is. You try and find me. above me seeing they can't see me I can hear something pulsing in my ears you're 370 you're a bit far away what we got there? 156. Maybe we use you as a marker for the moment while I want to go through this under cave. Uh, <laughs> so it says 199 that way. Oh, look at that. We got some vortex cubes here. They're not great value, but. It's all free pickup, so. Um, I'm gonna get rid of you. <laughs> so we we'll just uh, fill my inventory up with vortex cubes. It says 96 meters that way. Now, if we go up through here. We we'll just pick up a bit of cobalt here as well while we're at it. Then we've got to go through this wall. Um, okay, the storm's clearing. Another 50 odd meat units to go. It shouldn't take long. Perhaps we can just walk along the tunnel, blasting our way like this. <laughs> there it is. That's the there's destination reached. There we are. And we are back out on the surface. So our little expedition underground is. Uh, go away. So, right, let me just. I think what we'll do now is we'll just call in the ship. So we'll just uh, come in here, bring the ship in, then we'll go and see if we can find a, a freighter we can play with. Or, or raid, if we turn pirate, there we are. Thrusters are getting a little bit low, but really do need to fix up the Explorer. It just I don't know if you notice that pause with the transition again. Oh, go away. Um, just, okay. Everything in the exosuit. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, it's 
multiples on to one, eh? That's uh, okay. I'm in the right ship for this, so got you. Maybe they think I'm a pirate, so I need to. Another one. Here we go. There's another one down. Grab the loot. Shields at full capacity. And I think this is the last one. And here rocks. And the one that I can never pronounce. So is that lemonium lemonum? Or lemium. I think it's lemium, isn't it? Right. We need to find the I hit blast our way through here. Head for the space station. Okay. That can go in the high capacity. That can go to the exosuit. In fact, what we'll do is we'll just um, wrap this thing up. It convert you. Put drop that in there, and away we go. For some reason the the ship. Oh, okay. Welcome, welcome. This would be a perfect finish. If one of you's got a salvage frigate module, cargo pod, uh, oh, I'm kind of sneaking around here. Can't attack them. That would be a bit. That would be pretty dodgy. Gold, platinum. Let me just see. There's some more around here. There we are. Fire up the guns. Right, we got two of them. Time to go. I think. So, hello. Bye bye. See any more over here. In fact, we're. Oh, there's another one there. So, three of them. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Time to go. A local enemy disruption. So okay, I don't have a problem with that. Oh. I think they're following me. Escape possible. I right, was going to drop in on the mission agents. I mean, yeah, that was really good. We got three frigate three modules. That can go in the high capacity. That can go in the high capacity. That can go into the high capacity. Let's go into the low capacity then. And we'll just come up here. And how much space have I got? Yeah, we should have enough space. I don't think I've got that many missions to cash in. So we're just going there. And we'll just hand in missions. We've only got the one. And we've in, improved our standing with the Explorers Guild. Uh, just over here. So, oh, there's Vortex Cubes. Got 24 salvage data, that's good. And we got the frigate modules. What I do need to do is buy. I think it's ten wiring looms. 
buy that. It's going to make a little bit of dent in my cash. And I think just to wind the video up, what we're going to do is just jump into the Red Baron again. Over here. Let's get clear. Bring the freighter in. Your capital vessel. That's fighter, fighter upgrade, purchase upgrades. That's what I want. We got seven. So uh, take that. And we've now got the technology. Now you can unlock these for to give you benefits to do with missions, but to be honest, I I, I'm, I don't really feel the need to push for these. I'd rather go for the warp core resignator and just give more capacity to the um, freighter. I think it's also that um, it's that ability to. Oh, I thought you could put in the tech to go to other. Oh yes, this is the one. This is the ones we need. But what I we need, I need to do is get to um, this one here, the temporal warp computer. That's going to take four, four. I mean, it's going to take a lot, but it's, once we get to here, it means the freighter can go anywhere but, uh, as as a warp ship. So, and let's see if we can install the tech. Um, I need um, five antimatter. I don't think I can make the five and. Um, them resonators. Um, I think I could probably make five antimatter. I'm not sure about the resonators. Uh, annoying. I haven't even got the formula for it. I think I've got some buried in my magnetic resonators. We got. I'm sure I've got some of these. Yeah. Aha. I know I was keeping them for a reason. And come to the freighter technology. And there we are. We've now got a teleport ability to talk to the freighter. And if any of you are not sure what I'm talking about is we actually go back up here. Because we got the what we call it. If we come to this terminus and say I go back to Paradise Overlook, so here we are. We're back on my base, which is still very much a work in progress. But more importantly, now if I come into here, this is item teleportation and enabled means that what I can do now is I can send stuff back to the freighter and more importantly I can bring stuff back from the freighter and this is by far the most important tech that you want to install on your freighter this one here the matter beam because it just opens up the whole scope of being able to do things with with your freighter so like if you're collecting dihydrogen gels and tr tr um, tritium to make um, frigate fuel you can just send it gather it and send it you don't have to keep going going up and unloading it into the freighter every time so that that interact so that's the, probably the most important tech that you can get in your freighter the rest is just kind of icing on the cake but this is where i'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do Enjoy your gaming.